Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Predictions. Um, some this week, uh, the previous week in that, there's a few surprising results. Um, but talk more about them as I get out of our fixtures. Um, but anyway guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Jinlin versus MK Dons. Um, MK Dons winning 1-0 at home to Oxford. Um, I did have an update on Oxford when the last video went out, and I'll talk more about that when I get there to this week's fixture for Oxford. Um, Gillingham 1-1 one, one away to Fleetwood. Good put for Gillingham. Um, in the table, Gillingham the 13th, MK Dons the 21st. Uh, a win this week for MK Dons. Or even a draw um, could lift them out the relegation zone. Um, this game's going to be a bit interesting, I think. Um, but I'm going to go for a 2 1 MK Dons win. My next one is Blackpool versus Shrewsbury Town. Blackpool 1 1 away to Sunderland. Shrewsbury 2 1. Um, at home to Coventry. Um, great three points for Shrewsbury. Um, Curry sitting in 11th with 28 points. Um, you know, Blackpool 1-1 one, one, one away to Sumlin. Um, I think that's a great point for them as well. Um, sitting on 33 points in the playoff places. Um, but I think that's a great point for Blackpool. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Blackpool win. My next one is Bolton Wanderers versus Southend. Um, Southend 2-2 two -two at home to Wolfram. Great point for Southend there. Um, Bolton losing 1-0 away from home to Peterborough. So, um, you know, probably not a bit disappointed with that. Um, Peterborough currently sitting in third in the player places anyway. Um, but this game, yeah, I think this game is going to be another interesting one. 22nd going up against 23rd. Um, I'm going to go for a Bolton win, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 Bolton win. My next one is Bristol Rovers versus Peterborough. Um, Peterborough 1-0 one, one, uh, one -nil winners at home to Bolton. Bristol Rovers beating Etrish Town 2-1 away from home. Great three points for Bristol Rovers. Um, and Bristol Rovers are currently sitting in fourth place. And that, that uh, second place down to... What I say, ninth, which is Fleetwood, anyone getting that automatic place. Um, this game is going to be another interesting one. Two top teams, third versus fourth. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Burton Albion versus Rochdale. Um, Burton Albion loses 2 0 away from home to Wickham. Um, Watchdale did not plan the league, they had the FA Cup replay, so nothing to really pounce on. Um, yet again, um, 16th place Burton Albion going up against 18th place Watchdale. Um, very much a, tab a table changing game if uh, Watchdale win. Um, and I'm going to back up to do that, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 Watchdale win. My next one is Coventry versus Lincoln City. Lincoln beating Tramia 1 0 at home. Uh, Coventry losing 2 1 away from home to Shrewsbury. Disappointing day for Coventry. I'm very still much expecting Coventry to get in that power places. We're currently sitting in seventh. Um, Lincoln, on the other hand, sitting in 15th. 
and they seem to be doing okay ever since they had their manager change. Um, but I'm going to go for a 2 0 Coventry City win. My next one is Doncaster Rovers versus Akron Stanley. Um, Doncaster Rovers lose a 2 1 at home to AFC Wimbledon. Um, Akron Stanley beating Portsmouth 4 1 at home. I actually remember watching that game, um, not watching it, listening to it, sorry. Um, I mean, you got Akron turn all the way down in 17th, and they gave Portsmouth a real go, who's currently in the top 10, sitting in 10th position. Um, but I remember listening to that game, and I'm thinking, well, you know, great three points for Accrington. Um, but, you know, they still got a bit to play in this uh, season. Uh, Doncaster Rovers, just as you mentioned, lose a 2 1 away for home to Wimbledon. So one of these teams going in on a high, and um, which one go for a 1 now Akron Stanley win. My next one is Oxford United versus Wickham Wanderers. Wickham Wanderers beating Burton Albion 2 0 at home. Um, Oxford losing 1 0 away from home to MK Dons. Now, the last video got published, um, and I did get a comment from one of you guys, and thank you for informing me that Oxford have got nine first team players out. Um, so, as I said, any bits of information you give me, I do take on board. So, you know, I do appreciate all this information you send my way. Um, but because of that, I'm going to go for a Wickham win, and I'm going to go for a 3 nil Wickham win. My next one is Portsmouth versus Itchridge. Um, Portsmouth losing 4-1 at away from home against Akron Stanley. Um, Itchridge losing 2-1 at home to Bristol Rover. So both of these teams going in on the low. Um, Itchridge is going to really win this game if they were to keep in that top two. Um, it all goes on that Peterborough game as well, and yeah, Peter, anything from Peterborough, yeah, so it goes on that Peterborough game where um, Itchridge can lose their place this weekend. Um, Portsworth gun yet again on a low, um, you know, Itchridge have had three draws on the bounce and one loss, which I'm going to go for a 2-1 Portsmouth win. My next one is Rotherham United versus Fleetwood. Rotherham United 2-2 two -two away to South End. Fleetwood 1-1 one -one at home to Gillingham. Disappointing day for Fleetwood. Um, you know, disappointing day for Rotherham as well, I suppose. Um, but as far as this result goes, it's a tight game. It's night versus Sip. And yet again, another table changing game on, depends on the results. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 two, two scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Tramier Rovers versus AFC Wimbledon. Um, AFC Wimbledon beating Doncaster Rovers 2-1 at home. Um, Tramier losing 1-0 away from home to Lincoln. Um, I'm going to go for... A Wimbledon win. Actually, no, I'm not going to go for another draw. And I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat one if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.